Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Figure Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars 2014 Mission Series Senate Duel featuring Darth Sidious and Yoda. Here's a look at the packaging. So I just picked this set up from Target and uh, you know, I've been looking forward to checking it out in person. Um, I'd seen some photos online, and, uh, you know, when I saw it in person, I was like, I gotta buy that. It, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, it was $9.99, and uh, it features one brand new figure, Darth Sidious, and one repack from the Saga Legends line, Yoda. So let's go ahead and kick things off here with the Dark Lord of the Sith himself, Darth Sidious. Darth Sidious is a very good sculpt. Just the level of sculpting that went into his robes. Uh, in his outfit turned out really nicely. So the canvas of which this figure is based upon is very solid. Give you an up close there of Darth Sidious. Uh, very interesting facial expression. He's obviously smiling and it's obviously taking place during his confrontation with Yoda in Revenge of the Sith where he's kind of giddy about finally confronting uh, you know Master Yoda after all his time manipulating the events in the prequels. I wouldn't say that the face particularly looks all that much like Darth Sidious. I mean, it does. It also looks like Palpatine, um, you know, before the transformation. Um, but, you know, I, w I would say something's a little bit off. And, you know, that may have more to do with the paint than with, uh, you know, the actual sculpt work. Because it looks to be a really good sculpt. It obviously looks like the character. Uh, but something just looks a little bit off for me. The eyes are a pretty simple yellow with a you know, black dot in the center. They look okay. Uh, paintwork on the face, there's kind of like a wash over it to kind of you know, give it, kind of bring out those wrinkles in his face and such. Um, so there's that, and uh, the hood is really nicely done. Um, for future Sith figures with hoods, uh, you know, they should definitely take a cue from this guy because uh, you know, nice plastic uh, hood on there that's not too bulky or overbearing, you know. It really works on this figure, and you know it looks a lot like it did in the film. His little um, jacket thingy that he has over his uh, robes is quite nice, uh, as is the rest of the outfit. You can see there's some texture going on there to his costume, uh, and then you know you have the little black bits around his wrists, um, you know that match uh, this item up here. Uh, of interest is my figure has a very unusual like little black splattering of paint. That probably came from this, you know, and unfortunately it just kind of rubbed there uh, or something when the coloring was being applied, so that's unfortunate. And, uh, you know, he, he's very vintage Star Wars looking, what with, uh, you know, the way they sculpted the uh, the legs. Um, so it's really cool. I like when they can incorporate, you know, something nostalgic like that into new figures. In the way of articulation, um, good old Dar City is here. He has a swivel at the head, but... It doesn't really move, and if you look under there, it looks like they sculpted a little cutout. That way, you know, the top part of the hood could kind of, you know, just situate itself in there. So, I mean, you can kind of move it a little bit, but it's it's really quite pointless. Uh, you know, he may as well have not had any kind of movement there at all. Sidious has swivels at both of his shoulders, and interestingly, he has swivels at both of the wrists. You can move them around as you wish. And then he has swivels at the hips, of course. Now, what's really cool about this is that they didn't take the lazy way out. They actually put some work inside of the uh, the robes, you know, the leg of the robe. Uh, you can see his actual leg, the pants and boots. No, there's not any extra pain in there or anything, you know, which would have been nice. But, you know, hey, I wouldn't have expected them to even do this. So, right on. For accessories, Darth Sidious has his signature lightsaber. The hilt is very simple. It's just silver. In the film and on other figures, it had more of a organic look to it. Uh, there was more, more of a caramel coloring mixed with a little bit of uh, silver and gold. Um, so you know you're not going to get that with the saber. And then uh, the blade is a very nice shade of vibrant red, which I like. And Sidious holds his lightsaber very well. It goes into his hand, and uh, you know you can slide it in as far as you you like. And, uh, you know, with the swivel that he has there, you know, you can turn it. Now, these are not included with this Star Sidious figure, but I pulled these from um, another Sidious figure. These came with the uh, 
Sidious that had the interchangeable heads, um, you know, in the red robe. These actually look quite cool when you put them on him, you know, just to kind of give him a, an extra element of intrigue, uh, you know, really cool. So if you have those accessories from that Palpatine figure, definitely you might want to utilize those. And then you could do something like this, where you have Yoda blocking the Emperor's lightning blasts. All right, so yes, of course, we are going to compare this Sidious figure uh, with the vintage release that has the same outfit. These are the only two Darth Sidious figures that have been released in this particular outfit. Um, I was quite excited when the vintage one came out. Um, you know, as you can see with the both of them, the uh, the sculpting is quite different. Uh, of course, with the Mission Series Sidious, he's a lot more basic. The sculpt is a lot more true to the film. He looks like Sidious, but he, it's still very exaggerated. This is a heck of a nice figure, but, you know, I, I don't know. There's just something about the new Mission Series release that I kind of think tops it. And I don't know what it is exactly. I know the sculpt work on him is fantastic. The paintwork could stand to be improved, particularly in the face area, but, you know, just comparing him to uh, Vintage Sidious, I don't think that uh, Vintage Sidious is quite, quite there. He's very close, and this is definitely one of the better Sidious figures that has been released, but, you know, that it could still stand to be improved upon. All right, and that brings us to Master Yoda. This is the exact same Yoda figure that I reviewed some time ago back in the Saga Legends line. And I'll go ahead and bring in that Yoda right there. Uh, as far as I can tell, they're identical. The coloring's the same. Uh, you know, I don't see anything that uh, differentiates them, really. The uh, only thing I would point out is on my um, Saga Legends Yoda, I think the eyes were maybe a little bit cross-eyed. Yeah, a little bit cross-eyed compared to what um, Mission Series Yoda ended up with. So I would say Mission Series looks a little bit better for that reason, but it's not really a variation. It's just, you know, that the paint on a Saga Legends Yoda's eyes, uh, you know, were just a little bit funny. Other than that, he's the same exact figure, you know, with the nice full head of hair and all. Um, exactly the same uh, articulation, swivel at the head, swivels at the shoulders, and uh, swivels at the hips. And for his accessory, you get the same exact lightsaber that came with the Saga Legends release. All right, folks, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars 2014 Mission Series Senate Duel featuring Darth Sidious and Yoda. All things considered, for 10 bucks, this is a heck of a set. Um, I really like the Darth Sidious figure. Um, you know, as I mentioned, I think he does surpass the vintage release only because the sculpt is very tightly done. Uh, it's very nice, very authentic, very nice job on the hood. Yoda, he's a repack of the Saga Legends Yoda which uh, in itself is a very solid figure, very nice sculpt, and, uh, you know, pretty decent paintwork. I know not a lot of people are on board with the simplicity of the Saga Legends and Mission Series figures. Personally, I really like them. Uh, the sculpts, I think, are fantastic. The paint could use work uh, on many of the figures, some more than others. This set, I think, is one of the better sets in the series. Um, while it's not perfect, uh, you know, I definitely think that what Hasbro did here with Darth Sidious is quite admirable, and uh, I truly appreciate that the Sidious figure. And uh, for me, uh, you know, Sidious is what sells this set. Thanks for watching Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye bye.